Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you just a couple of meal ideas. One is going to be a little bit more of a lunch option, and then the other one's going to be a little bit more of a dinner option. Um, I'm not a breakfast eater, so just lunch and dinner. So anyway, these are meals that I start to prepare myself whenever I'm trying to get like bathing suit ready, or if I'm trying to stay, you know, bathing suit ready, because, um, you know, the closer we get to summer, the more likely it is that we're going to be finding ourselves in a bathing suit, you know, right? And um, I know our family, we spend a lot of time near the water, during the summertime. Um, not just that, we also have a family reunion that we do every single year. And literally we are in bathing suits from the time we wake up till the time we go to bed and we have such a great time. But because of that, um, you know, I know that, I don't know if you're like me, let me know if you are, but whenever I feel more confident, um, just in general, but also in a swimsuit, I feel like I'm just happier and I just have a better time. <laughs> No, that sounds weird, but um, but it's true. I just, I kind of, like I said, I think those kind of go together. Whenever you feel more confident, you're just generally happier, right? So, um, so anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and let me show you what I'm gonna be having for lunch right now. And then um, I'll show you what I'm gonna have for dinner later. Okay, so these are the ingredients that you're gonna need in order to make these little lettuce wraps. And um, I like to use the mesquite smoked deli turkey. This is my favorite. Um, I'm also going to use some 2% Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I'm going to use um, some butter lettuce hearts. It looks like this. I just cut the butt off and then, you know, use the leaves. I also have some cucumber spears right here, some onions, and then some tomatoes. And then on, as far as, you know, condiments are concerned, I'm going to be using the Hellman's light mayonnaise. And I'm going to be using this wasabi sauce. This stuff is so incredible. If you love wasabi, you're going to love it. I mix them together because this is quite powerful. So anyway, let me show you how I make it. Okay, so I've got half of a piece of cheese here. I'm actually going to fold it in half again because I want to try to get it, I want to try to roll it as skinny as I can. You guys can see this. Now, I love a lot of texture. So I like to have a lot of cucumbers, a lot of onions, and then of course some tomatoes. And then I'm gonna roll. Now the butter lettuce is actually to, sometimes whenever you start to roll, the um, the turkey will kind of break or, you know, yeah, it'll break and then, you know, everything's gonna come out. So you wanna roll as carefully as you can. And then what I do is I just wrap the butter lettuce around just to keep it nice and, and tight. So, so it ends up looking like this, and this is one of those meals that you just kind of have to eat like right after you make it because otherwise it's just gonna come unraveled and everything else, um, but it's super, super delicious. Okay, so this right here is what I'm gonna be having for lunch today, and doesn't this just make your mouth water? It's meals like this that I really, really crave. I love a very healthy seeming meal, and this is just so colorful, it feels good, it tastes good, it just, I love everything about it. Now I did wanna say that right here, I've got the Hellman's Light and then I've got the wasabi sauce. I'm very particular about my bites. Like every single bite has to have just the right amount of everything on it. I don't know why, it's just kind of, I'm a funny eater. Um, anyway, and then I've got my watermelon here. Now, when watermelon comes in season, it will always be cut up in Tupperware in my refrigerator until it goes out of season. It's just my favorite fruit ever, and it's usually the first thing that I put in my mouth every day whenever it's in season, and I've got it cut up in my refrigerator. So anyway, um, yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch today. And I did wanna also mention that you don't have to make them just like this. Occasionally, if I'm feeling kind of lazy, I will just take like a, a lettuce scoop or lettuce boat and then just shove all the ingredients in it and then kind of eat it like a taco. So you can do it that way also. But um, but this is the way that I prefer eating it. It just looks prettier, right? So anyway, that is what I'm having for lunch today and I will meet you back here at dinner time. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen and I'm gonna start preparing dinner. Um, now, I'm gonna be making something with chicken breast and this is chicken breast that was grilled um, on a mesquite barbecue pit. And um, I'm very fortunate right now because my husband is on this diet. It's called the carnivore diet. So he pretty much eats nothing but meat and eggs. And um, just in case you're curious, the reason he got on this diet was because he was having a lot of like back and joint pain. And he read that this diet pretty much cured all of that. 
So he's been on this diet for about three months now. He doesn't have any more joint pain. And then on top of it, he's lost like 20 pounds. And I didn't even know he had 20 extra pounds to lose, but um, he looked great before and now he looks like phenomenal. <laughs> so anyway, um, so it's working out for him. So every week he makes, you know, something for himself on the grill at least three or four days a week. So it works out for me too, because I can just be like, oh, can you throw all this chicken breast, um, you know, on the grill? There's nothing, nothing tastes better than any type of meat that's been cooked on a barbecue pit. I don't know, something about that smoked flavor. I mean, just the way that it smells when it's cooking outside. It smells so, so good. So anyway, I've got this giant bag of chicken breast and, um, and I just get creative with some chicken breast meals because chicken breast is so good for you. It's a healthy meat, it's low in fat, and yeah, you can just get really creative with it. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Let me show you what I'm making. Okay, so these are the ingredients that you're gonna need for this meal. And this is a little bit more ingredients than I typically like to cook with. I don't know, I just, I like to get in and out of the kitchen, right? Um, and it requires a little bit more time because there's a lot of chopping involved. So anyway, I have my pre-cooked, you know, off the grill uh, chicken right there. I just cubed it up. Then I've got some onions. I've got some bell pepper. This is a little salsa that I like to use sometimes. It just depends on, you know, what I'm craving. Sometimes I like that shiraka. I think it's what it's called. It's real, real hot. And I like that sometimes. Um, so anyway, then I'm going to use some whole kernel corn. I'm going to use some black beans. Um, I have to have sour cream on meals like this. And I always use light sour cream. I've got a tomato. I don't typically like to cut tomatoes in advance or store them in the refrigerator just because I feel like I, I want them fresh, freshly cut whenever I eat them. Then I've got an avocado, um, some shredded lettuce. This is just iceberg lettuce. And for seasoning, I'm gonna be using just a little bit of seasoning. Um, I feel like the onions and the bell pepper are almost enough seasoning, but I just like to add up just a little bit more. This is a seasoned meat tenderizer. I know it's a meat tenderizer, it's not just a seasoning, but I just prefer this over anything. I can't replicate this flavor in any other way. I don't know why. So I just always use that um, even on vegetables. And, and then I'm gonna be using a little bit of this ground Camino. I did buy some cilantro and you know what? Maybe I'll throw some cilantro in also. So let me show you how I prepare it. Okay, so first I'm just gonna grill up the onions and the bell pepper. And um, I just used a little bit of this. I don't know if you can see it. It's just butter cooking spray. And it says that it's for fat-free cooking. And obviously I'm not gonna put the chicken in because the chicken's already cooked. So I just kind of toss that in at the very end just because I want this flavor right here to get all over the chicken. So like I said, first I'm just gonna grill this up. So everything's getting a little bit soft. I don't want it completely soft before I add the chicken because, you know, um, I don't know. I like my vegetables to be have a little baby bit of crunch to them. And so, this looks right about right. I'm about to throw in the chicken. Now I did want to show you that over here, I just have a little pot of um, the corn and the black beans. I, I like to do it separately because I like to store it separately in the refrigerator um, whenever I'm done. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add the chicken. And this is when I use a little bit of this seasoning that much and then I'm gonna use just a little bit of this Camino because I don't know it always Camino always gives it just the right amount of Mexican authenticity <laughs> there's something about Camino oh my gosh it smells so good I can smell it right now and this is just gonna cook for maybe just a couple minutes I just want you know the chicken to be a little bit warm just because it was in the in the refrigerator in, in baggies so this right here is what I'm gonna be having for dinner tonight. Doesn't this just look mouthwatering? So I've got the shredded lettuce on the bottom. Then I've got the chicken and the bell pepper and onion. Um, that's the first layer. Then I put the black beans and corn on top of that. I cut up some tomatoes and then I diced up some avocado. And of course I've got my sour cream over there because each 
bite has to have just the right amount of sour cream. Like I said, I'm very particular with my bites. And, and then I'm gonna be using this instead. I just really wanted something a little bit spicier and this stuff is really hot. It's the Soraka sauce, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's just one of my favorites. I like to put it on uh, everything, Mexican food and Asian food. So anyway, this right here is what probably my daughter and I are both gonna be having for dinner tonight. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, or at the very least, maybe um, picked up a new meal idea, or maybe were reminded of something you used to prepare that you hadn't in a long time. So, um, you know, I'm always trying to look for new meal ideas. For some reason, I get in a rut and I start preparing the same thing, you know, week after week in my family, you know, they always let me know, like, hey, why are we eating the same thing all the time, you know? So anyway, um, I always appreciate videos like this, so hopefully you do too. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here next week.